What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video I want to give you guys a really quick market update as Bitcoin has just broken a critical level of support Now if you guys watch the show You will know that this level that I'm gonna show was basically the line in the sand that if broken was kind of where I would flip a little bit more bearish and expect $25,000 to be the next target to the downside now on top of this We do have some interesting things popping up on some of the higher time frames such as the two week that could indicate a bit more downside for Bitcoin. So as Bitcoin starts to crack this key level of support, we have to start thinking about the idea of Bitcoin coming much lower. First off, making a stop off at about $25,000. So I want to go ahead and take a look at some of the lower levels underneath us. Take a look at some of those bearish signals on the two week time frame and talk about what this means for Bitcoin in the long run. Let's get into it. So guys, here we are on the Bitcoin four hour chart and you'll know if you watch the channel what key level I'm talking about and essentially it's kind of a key range uh, it is that level right here basically this white box uh, sitting right here between about $26,950 and about $26,500 uh, more closely to $26,500 is that key level that if broken would potentially open the door to more downside for Bitcoin uh, and again that next stop being about $25,000 or more specifically about $25,300 so as you can see here, guys, as we zoom into some of these lower time frames, you can see that we actually did wind up coming down to the bottom of our range here to the value area low, where we did catch a nice little scalp long in the premium discord all the way back up to the POC. I actually reversed that position using the reverse feature on BitGet uh, and wound up turning my long into a short right at this peak. Uh, and now I am actually short from this level. However, guys, we have come back down to the lows of the range. We have lost our value area low, which was kind of the first place that we were potentially looking for some bounces, but we have now lost that level. And more importantly, guys, we have come down into this white box and lost this white box. And as you know, this is the key level. That was kind of the line in the sand for me to flip a little bit more bearish. And you could see not only did we break down below this level, but we did break down bearishly retested and we got the confirmation of the yellow X, something that we talk about a lot on this channel that does indicate some potential more downside for Bitcoin. And in my opinion, guys, this is a bit more of a bearish sign for Bitcoin uh, because if we do wind up continuing down here, something to realize is that we do have this pretty big volume gap. Uh, right underneath us and you can see there really is not that much between where we are right now and that lower target of about $25,000. Uh, we are not that far away and there is not much support underneath us. So if we do wind up continuing down and start pushing past the lows that we've just made earlier this morning, uh, you know, if we start pushing past these lows, we will likely break into that gap and get a quick move down to about $25,300. Now, this level at $25,300 will be one of the places I will be looking for some very strong long positions if we can get the bullish confirmations at that level. Uh, however, as you guys know, we've been talking about this forever. If we wind up breaking that 25K level, that is again where I would flip a little bit more bearish on Bitcoin and expect some lower prices potentially moving us down to the point of control control of this previous range from back here between about January and February. If we break below this value area high, again, part of the reason why this range between 25,300 and 25,000 is so important is because the value area high of this previous range does come in right at 25K. So if we wind up losing that level, rejecting this value area high at $25,000, that is where I would likely be expecting to come all the way down to our point of control, getting closer to about $23,000 even, and this would, Phil the actual technical breakdown target of our head and shoulders that we formed up here. So as we are losing this white box, guys, it does look like we may wind up breaking down and coming a little bit lower. Now, again, I am flipping a little bit more bearish as we reject here, expecting this low volume gap to kind of play out pretty quickly once we start breaking this level right here at 25,900. But if we start losing this level, it will be likely that the measured target or the technical target of this head and shoulders will likely bring us all the way way back down to about $23,000. So that is kind of the most bearish case that I see playing out, at least in the medium term. If we do make it all the way down there, I will be reassessing the situation uh, and making my next moves based off of, you know, TA that I make at that time, right? Uh, it's too early to kind of figure out what will happen if we get down here. However, right now we are definitely losing this key level. And uh, if this continues and we do not get a fast move back up 
through this white box, guys, and more preferably, I would rather get above this value area low at about 27200 That would be kind of where I would potentially be looking uh, for a move back up into this range. However, uh, if we don't get a quick move up here, it does look like we need to seriously start considering some lower prices for Bitcoin uh, if we continue to reject here. Now, on top of all this, guys, I do want to bring you up to some of the higher time frames here. Now, some of these things on the higher time frames that I do want to take a look at with you guys is the money flow on the two-day continuing to come to the downside. Now, obviously, we have our daily VWAP getting rejected at that zero line. Money flow is coming out, but as we get this daily VWAP to potentially start working its way up, uh, obviously, nothing goes down or up in a straight line. So, uh, you know, I am going to be watching some of these higher hourly time frames as they are starting to roll back up with their VWAPs. So a short-term bounce may not be unlikely here, but we have to be careful about coming up and making a lower high here, potentially rejecting off of some local golden pocket or this value area low again coming in at $27,200. Um, so if we do get a bounce here, guys, it would, in my opinion, be likely that it could just be a lower high, in which case, if you are not currently in a short position, you may want to wait for a bounce to get a better short entry rather than just shorting the breakdown here if we do get that short-term bounce. And guys, don't forget, if you want to stay updated when Bitcoin breaks these key levels, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these urgent market updates. However, in the longer term, guys, again, that two-day money flow is looking pretty bearish, in my opinion. On top of that, our three-day is starting to kind of roll over here with our money flow as well. Now, you want to remember the higher time frames do take some time to play out. However, I want to take you guys all the way up to the two-week here. Now, we don't always look at the two-week time frame, but our VWAP on the two-day is coming down towards that zero line with our money flow curving out pretty aggressively. This is a pretty bearish look, in my opinion. As you can see, back in uh, 2019, when we had our our little uh, fake out 2019 bull market, you could see we had money flow uh, kind of in the green here on the two week. And then as we started coming down after that little fake out bull, uh, bear market rally, you could see price started working its way down and then crossed back over into the red. And once we printed that next red dot on the two week, that was when we had that big capitulation in the March of 2020. Obviously, that was a black swan event. Uh, so no guarantees that we come down like that again. Uh, but you never know. It's very hard to predict these black swans. Uh, but again, that red dot looking to print on the two week is the next very bearish signal, especially because you have the confluence of your money flow coming out aggressively as well. This is the next bearish signal that I will be watching very, very closely to kind of anticipate another potential bigger move down in the long run, right? Uh, again, those higher daily time frames take time to play out. Um, but when you come down to some of these lower time frames, like the four hour, you can see our VWAP is over the zero line. We have the confirmed green dot. We didn't get our bullish divergence, uh, which is unfortunate. However, uh, you know, this VWAP is not looking the strongest, but we do still have time to uh, potentially get some buying pressure to come in here and push us back over those key levels. Uh, again, the goal here is to get back above this white box decisively if we do not want Bitcoin to break down here. But again, uh, the head and shoulders is officially completed and it does look like it is starting to break down. So guys, I think that's all the time I got for today's market update. Hopefully that gives you guys some insight into where price is likely to go. Being very, very cautious right now. Again, you want to be careful of some short-term bounces, but the fact that we've broken below this white box is definitely not a good sign and we don't have to push much lower to push into that low volume gap. And if that does happen, price will likely come down to 25.3 very, very quickly. With all that being said, guys, that's all the time I got for this video. Don't forget, we have a Bing X trading competition coming up. Uh, the event starts in, well, you can see the timer here, seven days, 12 hours, 36 minutes, and 58 seconds. We have about a week until this competition starts. It is a community competition, so there is going to be some really, really cool prizes, which, by the way, will be withdrawable. I know it's a big question that a lot of people have. Um, so it's going to be super cool. Top 10 users share up to 3,000 USDT, which is super, super cool. If you're competitive, if you're looking for a challenge, uh, this is going to be super, super fun. So if you guys want to sign up, I will leave the link in the description down below. And with all that being said, guys, that's all the time I got for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Frankie Candles out. By the way, I am feeling much better. Bing bong. Here we go at the top of the class on a roll. And it's time to run it up. Yeah, you know. Maxed out, put the pedal to the flow. Ayy, on the road, here we go, here we go. Yeah, we winning by a landslide. Never see me coming on my landmine. Yeah, I ain't taking orders in command line. Yeah, you about to see me under man.